Hey y'all, welcome back to another hunting ammo ballistics shell test. This is video four of four in my North Fork bullet series. Today we're gonna be shooting their 232 grain copper expanding bullet out of the 9.3 by 62 Mauser. And here's the box for those 0.366 caliber 232 grain copper expanding bullets we're gonna be firing out of the 9.3 by 62 Mauser. Opening them up, they come in a nice little foam tray each bullet is individually held so you can set this on your reloading bench pull them out one at a time really nice let's take a look at one of these bullets here you go big nasty looking hollow point on this bad boy and here are a few of the loaded cartridges again look at that hollow point i can't wait to see what these do i used new privy partisan brass and primers for these that's what i had that's the only thing i was able to get as far as load specifics like powder charge and stuff i'm not going to get into that for various reasons but what i tried to do was create a nice stout hunting load not the hottest you could but far from the weakest and here's the little flyer they included with the bullets when i got them flip it around here's some info on north fork bullets if you want to stop pause and read that go for it but what i really wanted to show you is right here they go over each of their different bullet types the ones we're going to be shooting right now in this test are their copper expanding bullets so we'll read that together our newest bullet is pure copper design which expands reliably without fragmentation to ensure deep and reliable wound channels let's see what it does and the test rifle today is my 1950s era husqvarna mauser it's got a 23 and 5 8 inch barrel and coming on back, I've got one of my handmade leather cartridge cuffs. Check out my website, masonleather.com, to get yourself one. I would love to make you one. And coming around to the other side, I've got to show you my elk design. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And let's take a look at the velocities for those 232 grain copper expanding loads out of the 9.3 by 62 Mauser. And these were hand loads, of course, and I had a little trouble again finding load data for 232 grain copper bullets. I tried to find something that was similar, and I, I didn't go real high end on it just for safety's sake, so the velocities might be a bit slower than expected for the bullet weight. Our high was 23.64, our low 23.22 and our average was 2347. So these velocities are about on par with what you would expect from a 286 grain 9.3 by 6.2 load, but these are 232. And here we are down at the blocks after shooting those 232 grain copper expanding North Fork bullets out of the 9.3 by 6.2 Mauser. We did manage to capture not only three, but four bullets. We are not going to count that one. That one table skated. These three did not, so these will be the bullets of record. These things fling this front block around like crazy. I had to come down here and pick up the block off the ground a couple times and put it back. But let's go ahead and take a look at penetration first. Our deepest is way back here, kissing 42 inches will give it. The next deepest is right here at about, we'll call it 35 inches. And then we have one right here at right about 30 inches. But interestingly, across calibers and loads that I've tested, you usually don't see this wide of a gap between the shallowest and deepest penetrating bullets. I can't really account for that. I don't know why that is, but it is what it is. And looking at this deepest bullet, it does look like we got some expansion there. Not nearly what I thought we would see from that big hollow point. And then this one looks like it expanded a little bit more. This this is the second deepest and then here is the shallowest it looked like this one expanded a little bit more than the other two and really i'm reserving judgment until i pull these things out we weigh them measure them and we can talk about it then let's go over to the first block and see if i can show you any wound cavities this first block got messed up pretty bad here i came around to the other side it looks like your bullet enters it starts expanding right there at about the 
four inch marker so we get a bit of a wound cavity and then it closes off right about at the 12 inch mark not explosive wound cavity which i wouldn't expect from a copper bullet you usually don't see massive explosive wound cavities and these things definitely look like they have some very controlled expansion so let's dig them out and take a look and here we are looking at those north fork 0 0.366 inch 232 grain copper expanding bullets as fired from the 9.3 by 62 mauser first we'll talk about weight retention we saw 231 231 and 231 grains for an average of of course 230 31 grains so 100% weight retention and really I wouldn't expect anything or much less from a solid copper bullet especially at these velocities so great performance and then on to expansion we saw 0.53 inches 0.59 inches and 0.64 inches for an average of 0.59 inches expanded diameter a little bit of a range there not too bad and that works out to 1.6x expansion and being that these bullets were going the velocity that they were we'll talk about that next i'm not really surprised about that i wouldn't expect them to expand too much more than that solid copper bullets typically don't expand much more than about 2x some make it to 2.1x but with these going a bit slower than a lot of the higher velocity rounds i've tested solid copper bullets in 1.6x isn't necessarily surprising and i think if you were to push these faster which you definitely could do in the 9.3 by 62 mauser you very well might see greater expansion and on to velocity our high velocity was 2364 our low was 2322 for an average of 2347 and like i mentioned earlier i did have a bit of trouble finding load data for bullets like this there is load data for 250 grain solid copper bullets and some other bullet weights but nothing specifically for 232 grain out there that i could find so really i worked with what i had and i loaded these a little bit conservatively no doubt you could push these to quite a bit higher velocity and so we just have to keep that in mind when we're evaluating the performance of this bullet knowing that this was a hand load i worked with what i had and it could very well change maybe even substantially depending on how fast you push this bullet and penetration wise we got very deep penetration a little bit of a range though 30 inches 35 inches and 42 inches for an average of about 36 inches of penetration and for what these are i think that's pretty decent and on a kinetic energy with a 232 grain bullet going on average 2347 feet per second that works out to 2837 foot pounds of energy and once again, these were hand loads. If you loaded these a bit hotter, you would see a subsequent increase in your kinetic energy. Now, real quick, what I want to do before getting into the metrics and stuff of this load is read sort of the mission statement on their little flyer they included for what this bullet is supposed to do. This is the CPX bullet, the copper expanding. So I'll go ahead and read it verbatim. It says, our newest bullet is a pure copper design which expands reliably without fragmentation to ensure deep and reliable wound channels. Well, I think it definitely hit that right on the head. Because we didn't have any fragmentation, we got some good wound channel and it did penetrate deep. So there you go, one, two, three. All right, y'all, time for my final thoughts on those .366 inch, 366 caliber, 232 grain CPX bullets by North Fork as fired from the 9.3 by 62 Mauser and my own hand loads I put together. All in all, I think these things did really well. Now remember, I used somewhat of a conservative load here with the 375 H&H and 30-06 loads that I did for these North Fork bullets, I went a little bit hotter. With this 232 grain copper expanding bullet, I didn't quite go as hot. I was a little more conservative because I had trouble finding reloading data. But even though I loaded it a little bit more conservative, I think we still got really good performance out of them. Weight retention was absolutely phenomenal, 100%. I wouldn't really expect anything less from a premium copper bullet. Expansion was a little on the low side. I expected more than 1.6x expansion. But again, you can definitely drive these things faster than I did. My average velocity was 2,347 feet per second. You can definitely get quicker than that out of a 9.3 by 62 Mauser with a 232 grain bullet. So just keep that in mind. And then penetration, they did great. 30 inches, 35 inches, and 42 inches for three feet on average, 36 inches. Now, I can't really say why there was such a range in penetration, 30 inches on the low end to 42 inches on the high end. 
But even so, 30 inches is pretty deep, and the average is really good, I think, 36 inches. And y'all, I wish I had some other factory loads to compare this to, but as of yet, I haven't done any 9.3 by 62 Mauser factory load ballistics gel tests. But as of right now, just sort of using my own intuition, I think they did pretty good. And I would actually like to really see how they would perform in a hotter load. I may go back at a future date and, and put together some other hotter loads with these same exact bullets, try and drive these things closer to 2,500 feet per second and see what they do then. But all in all, I think these are definitely an option if you're looking for a non-lead bullet to reload in your 9.3 by 62 Mauser. If you'd like to give them a try, check them out at NorthForkBullets.com. They have a dealer locator on there you can find a dealer near you or online order some up and go to work and check out my website masonleather.com and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you i've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade and i would love to make you something and there are hundreds of reviews on my website so you can see what real hunters have to say about their mason leather gear and also tons of photos showing all the customizable options including name initial and caliber stamping as well as wild game designs and more Everything is handmade by me right here in the USA. I would love to be a part of your hunt through my leather gear. And it helps support this channel so I can bring you more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests and lots of other cool stuff in the future. The link will be in the video description and the pinned comment or you can just type masonleather.com into your web browser. And click one of these cards for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.